Right, chaps, really quick tutorial today. Um, it's, it's not the one that um, I advertised at the weekend. This is just to address some of the comments that have been coming through about the instance geometry and sort of how to use placement, like how to um, put, you know, like paint areas of placement. So that's what we're going to attack today and just that, and we're going to do it pretty quickly. So create new graph, input, delete, drag in, our instance and what we want to instance and then we're going to drag in our floor which is what our points are going to uh, come from um, so output over here and I'm just going to hit control plus and period uh, also known as full stop in England um, and I'm going to uh, bring in a scatter points and I'm going to bring in um, instance that we're flying with this thing now instance and uh, first thing I'm going to do is going to go mesh into geometry points into compound instance what the hell are you doing there instance um, set instance geometry points into points and instances into the output and then this mesh into the instances happy days right so we've got instance geometry scatter points because we want to throw them everywhere um, and obviously we can add more points to this scatter points as well. Again, only available in the Rebel Pack um, currently, which you can find online on the Autodesk site. Um, so the amount, I'm just going to stick in like 10,000 for now, because I'm crazy like that. And um, if we unpause by hitting Control plus and full stop or period, we can see, pachow! Uh, we get all of our instances, which in using your imagination, let's just pretend they are trees or buildings or alien eggshells. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is grab the plane um, and let's start working out how we're going to uh, uh, use this new function that you're all looking for. So um, first off, let's... Um, Let's pause the graph again. So I'm just going to go control plus and uh, period, full stop. And I'm going to go into mesh display and I'm going to get the color set editor open and I'm going to add a color set to that. Pchow. Uh, edit reset settings, yada, yada, yada. Yes, please. I'll have some of that. Right, color set. Okay, so we've got color set there and now we want to paint. So I'm just going to go like apply color and it's going to bring up our. Uh, paint for vertex tool um, and I can just start painting on it obviously you're not going to be able to see anything until we unpause this so let's just unpause this because it's not like we've got anything major going on at the moment um, um, so we're painting but we can't see anything so what we need to do is the next quick step which is to go to the scatter points we're going to scroll down to the bottom and there's a little section that says enable masks so we're going to click enable mask and in here I'm going to type in color spelled in the American way uh, set of capital S E T um, hit enter okay so we've got a color set in there and I'm just going to um, let's just flood the mesh for now let's just go black flood so now we've got nothing and if I scroll up to the white area I can start painting which is lovely and I might have a little bit too many of them on there at the moment but I mean really it's lightning fast anyway so it's not like we've got to worry about it too much so we'll just build a like snazzy area maybe these are trees and this is a nice long river going for it obviously our uh, original one is there and we can hide him um, that's it that is it that is all you need to know um, to answer that question and you can just Go around and paint uh, whatever you want in, you know, like different shades and all that work. Obviously, if you've got more um, subdivisions on your plane, you're going to get a nicer uh, sort of bit of painting going on. So we'll just uh, go into the channel box and just uh, go back to the divisions and stick in like 50 or something. And we can start painting again and we'll get something that's a little bit more subtle if I had the right... Um, flim flam on let's just flood that again and just bring back white and it's probably all messed up because I probably need to adjust my colour set because of that um, but you know you get the picture so that is it really you just start painting and 
uh, enjoying yourselves. Obviously, if we have a little soft edge on there, we can start to get things that are a little bit more interesting going on. And that's how you create masks for Scatterpoint instances. Cheers. Nice one. Uh, all the other tutorials coming soon. Like, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Um, at the moment, it's Strangebox Capital S underscore LTD. Follow me on Instagram. Um, with this, uh, I'm, I'm beta testing Bifrost now. I haven't even downloaded it yet. Don't tell anyone that. Um, but I just need like 48 hours a day to be out of work because I've got a couple of projects on and I'm doing YouTube tutorials and I'm trying to get myguide.com up and running and all things going crazy. So, um, you know, for all I know, I'm going to be meeting the Queen next week as well. Right, that's it. Goodbye. Uh, um, enjoy. Thanks. Goodbye. Press stop.